the, uh, the, the goal of this course, this is absolute beginners. Have you done yoga before? Let's pretend not. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I mean, the, uh, the goal of this class is that you, um, you know, haven't done yoga and you will learn vocabulary. So, you know, the names of the poses, uh, because you start going to class, you're like, well, what's that? What's that? And you're looking around to see what everybody else is doing. So I will assume you don't know the name of any pose. I will cue you through the entire body uh, and the alignment in those poses. And if your body does not feel uh, the way I've kind of cued the alignment, that's fine. It's, you know, uh, always something you want to be aware of your body and how things feel for you. But I do teach the, I guess, standard alignment and um, because we, there's no rules that this is the right way and this is the wrong way to do a specific pose, but there is advantages of certain alignment. You'll kind of get more out of a pose or you'll, if you're doing it wrong, you could risk injuring yourself. So it's kind of for your benefit to really feel the best uh, in a pose and also to make sure nobody gets hurt. But uh, again, that's for a standard body, and if, you know, like I'm more flexible, so I have to be careful and not, you know, go too deep in a pose. So you have to make modifications specific, you know, to your body. And I know Sharon, you know, you've got some spine issues and I will talk about all the different vertebra and you, you know, you're going to have to modify certain ones just because of, you know, your spinal issues. So uh, completely understandable. So it's just a real important to, to kind of generally follow what I'm cueing, but to, to to listen to your body and do what you know feels feels good and feels right for you. And then of course the third thing is breathing. So I do cue a lot of with the breath. And so let me find one of my playlists here. And uh, so anyway, we'll start off standing. And we will, um, on our mat, all the way back here, <laughs> okay, and I've got my mat sideways, and, uh, but I'm going to face you guys a lot of the time, and I'm going to even try to pretend like I've got this little mat right here going forward, so sometimes I'll be turning this way, sometimes I'll turn this way to um, be able to demonstrate a little bit better some of the alignment issues, okay? So first thing we're going to do is a pose called mountain pose. I always build mountains from the ground up. So set your feet down, kind of parallel, maybe even toes turned slightly in. And uh, big toes can be touching, but they don't have to be. But just make sure your ankles are not touching. Okay. Basically, you want the outside blades of your foot to be kind of straight parallel to each other and um, maybe just a little less than hip width apart. Okay, so pick up all of your toes and press them down. And then pressing down into your toes, lift the arches of your foot, press into the outside blade of your foot. Okay, so now the feet are nice and grounded. Next, you want to make sure the knees are not going forward, but that they are over the ankles. So you've got the knees there over the ankles. And then we're not pushing the hips forward, but we're tucking the hips under. So I'm kind of rolling the hips like this. And rolling the hips like this kind of flattens out your low back. I want that, that cheerleader arch in the low back. It's also like your abdominal muscles a little bit. And so that gives you a nice neutral back. Now you should feel from right here, I like to just put my hands on my hips and just feel how strong the legs feel, nice and aligned. And very, very strong. And then I think about my upper body as being light and lifted. So I really I want to ground from the hips down, like I'm ground, down, grounding down. And then I've got that neutral spine, that flat back. And I'm going to feel like there's a string here at my start. I'm kind of lifting my chest up and keep the back flat. And typically in mountain, we a lot of times bring the arms out like this. Now, I'm not saying, you know, be out like that. What I want you to do is just relax your arms. Everybody just relax your arms, shake your arms out, okay? And then just let them, let them hang here for a minute. So we're not really engaging the arms. And if I say do this 
and you know thumbs out, a lot of times we roll our wrist like that. Okay, I want you just to shake those arms out, let them hang, and then from up here in your shoulders, rotate your arms. So your elbows should kind of turn in towards the body. So you should rotate the arms out, and then just let the hands fall. So the the palms are facing forward, kind of like we're low fiving each other. All right. So this is our mountain, and then lift the chin. Take a big inhale, rounding down through our feet, light upper body, shoulders relax, and even pull the shoulders back just a little bit, almost like you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then just relax, relax the shoulders down. So we're dropping the shoulders and close the eyes. Okay, close the eyes and just start to breathe so big. In and out of the uh, nose, nose. Of course, if you've got you know any sinus issues, this time of year sometimes we have to breathe out of our mouth. Just taking long, slow inhales, long exhale, and just relax those arms. All right, today I'm going to work a lot on um, some breathing and some movement that is almost like um, almost like Pilates, but, or more, more like Tai Chi, a little bit more like Tai Chi today. I was just thinking about today's class where I'm going to kind of go, and I want to go back. I kind of, I still cue the breath, but I haven't really talked as much about the breath, so I want to really emphasize the breath and what we're going to do today. So you've got that inhale going through the nose, exhale, and as you exhale, it's grounding, and as you inhale, so you can lift from the body any taller. Exhale, grounding down, so you're standing nice and firm. All right, so first thing I want to do is kind of warm up the spine, the hips, we'll go all the way down from the head to the toes. So our chin is up, our chin is up. Okay, so you're standing here nice and tall. So take a big inhale and start to lift the chin as high as you can. Just feeling that alignment, make the shoulders open up a little wider. All right, we're gonna take a big inhale and lengthen. And then the next exhale, I want you to start to drop the head and you're really hinging from the base of the skull and drop chin like you're trying to touch your collarbone with your chin. Kind of like that selfie chin, those double chins. And then inhale, lift up the chin. Exhale, chin back down. Inhale up, three more. All right, last one. So lift the chin and then exhale, chin here. All right, next time we inhale, lift the chin. Now we're going to hinge at the top of the shoulder blades. And as you exhale, crane your head forward. And almost like you're trying to keep your shoulders, everything back, but try to like take your chin like you're trying to touch the floor. Drop that head. So we'll inhale up. A little bit bigger motion, and we're pivoting at a lower point in the um, vertebra up here. I forget the name of the vertebra. I need to go back and say my anatomy. Three more. Moving with your breath. And then after the last one, come back up, and then gaze forward. All right. So shake out the arms if you develop any tension, shake out the legs when <laughs> you come back to that mountain pose. All right, so we're going to inhale, just lengthen, but just keep the eyes, eye level, chin just kind of up. Take a big inhale, and then as you exhale, take your ear over, I don't know if I'm mirroring you guys, right ear to the right shoulder as you exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left ear, or left shoulder, ear to the shoulder. Inhale left, keep the chin lifted. Exhale to the right. Inhale up to the left. All right, 
two more each side. And I know these seem like really small motions, but I want you guys to start to really think about moving as slowly and as fully as you can. Last set. Really pulling that shoulder, opposite shoulder down. All right, relax those shoulders, shake it out again, okay? All right, next, come back to that mountain. Build it from the ground, knees, hips, and back up, and hands on the hips here. All right, so then bring the hands down to the side. All right, so we're going to inhale that right arm, reach it out as long as you can, and reach up overhead. And exhale down. You can actually rotate it so the palm goes down this time. And then inhale, palm coming up. Slowly as you're breathing, rotate the shoulder. Exhale down. Right one again, inhaling up. Exhale down. Left one. And feel free to move with your breath. Now we're going to do it both at the same time. So inhale up. And really feel like your side stretch. And then keep that stretch tall as you exhale down. We're not slouching back down. We'll do some more. Inhaling up. And rotate. Exhaling down. Two more. Kind of slow the breath down here. All right. Now we're going to go step the feet now about hips width apart. So step the feet a little bit apart here. Okay. This time we're going to inhale up. Oh, I'm sorry. Take the right hand. Inhale up and really get stretched, but don't crunch into the left side. As you can, but really get that stretch. Exhale it down. Left side goes up. And again, I'm pretty flexible, so don't feel like, oh, you're supposed to go all the way over. Go as far as your body feels natural. Left side up. All right, two more. This time, as we reach up, maybe push the hips over. Last one each side, maybe count, maybe take the gaze up. All right, now we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades up to the ears. And then rotate them to the back. So rotating the back, bring the shoulder blades together in the back and out. So inhale, up as close to the ears as you can. Exhale down, just allow the arms to completely lift the shoulders. And three more, but keep the spine nice and straight. And last one. And then reverse. Now we're going to go to the back. Flex circle and down, inhaling up, exhaling over, two more. Harder to breathe this low with little bitty movement. And then exhale down. Last one. And then throw an extra in there. And down. All right, so we got those up. All right, so now. Again, feet apart, hands on the hip. So we're going to inhale the arm up and then exhale, ground down. Body. And then the next inhale, keep the hips forward. We're just going to take a little stretch. Exhale and take the gaze with the shoulder and inhale back to the center and down. Left arm up. Exhale, we're grounding down, and then inhale, open up. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, and ground. All right, so we'll take 
Both hands now, or we'll a little bit faster. So inhale it up, exhale it back. Inhale back to center and down. Inhale, left arm up, exhale it back. Inhale back to center, exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale, open. And try to keep the hips facing forward. I tend to want good move. Now, moving in the up. Exhale, twist your body. And exhale back. And, all right. And the next one I call the Miley Cyrus because it looks like we're twerking. <laughs> but it's like the cat cow. And I talk to Sherry about the cat cow where we go down on all fours and we do the angry cat. And we, we arch our back. But we're going to do it standing. So a little bit of speed here. And I talked about that neutral spine, but here I want you to really see out and open up the chest. So I've got a nice arch in the back. And it's, it's very uncomfortable when you do this. And as you inhale, arch it up, keep those elbows back towards each other. And then exhale, a little tuck the hips under, drop, not only the head, the neck, but the shoulders. So curl up like this, as you exhale. Looks like a bellow. So you inhale out. Filling up the lungs, really pull the hips back, and then exhale, curl back in. What's a standing cat cow? Inhale, that arch. Exhale down, you can round the shoulders, and then you can open up the arms back. Two more. And back to our neutral position. Let's have more body. So we started at the head, neck, we've got upper neck, lower neck, shoulders, okay, side, spine, okay. So now step the feet at least map width apart, okay, and start to bend the knees and look down, make sure your knees kind of stay not directly over your ankles, but don't take them out past the toes. So I want you to start bending here so you're kind of like sitting back and not taking, we're not going straight down. I'm not taking my body up and down and just keeping the knees out, but I'm dropping the hips back. Okay, so drop those hips back. Okay, and again, flat spine, so make sure we flatten that back out. All right, here with the knees set, okay? So we're going to start to straighten the left, reach the left arm up, and then exhale down. Inhale, straighten that right, exhale up. And if you need to step wider apart, that's fine, but we're going to inhale to the side, exhale back, inhale, other side. And if you want to turn sideways on your mat, that's fine too. Just move with your breath. All right, one more each side. Maybe go a little bit lower. Drop it down a little deeper. Great, thank you. All right, shake that out. Okay, so now without the arm, we're just going to start to go over and really think about dropping. Walking back and pulling that knee back. So going over to the right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Exhale. Moving with your breath. And find your limit. If this doesn't challenge you, Push a little lower. Allow yourself to find your limit and keep the core engaged. Everything is core work if you keep it engaged. Last one each side. All right. Now just keep the feet wide apart. I've got mine pretty wide apart. And I'm going to turn 
do our lat. And when you do, pull, rotate the hips just a little bit further. Okay, almost like you're rotating even further around, not just facing that straight leg. Take a big inhale, lift to the spine, and then right here, try to push the hips forward. And when you push the hips forward, you'll notice the shoulders go back over the spine and you're not leaning over like this. So take the shoulders over the side, push the hips forward. Inhale the arms up. Exhale. Just three of these, inhaling up. Engaging that core. All right, next one, hands on the hips, inhale, open up the chest, and then exhale, forward, inhale up, a little challenge for your balance here, exhaling down, inhaling up, more, Last one, really open up. And then exhale, really pull that chin forward, nice long side. And then just come back up. We're going to turn our feet exactly where they are in the other direction. Okay, so get to the center here and rotate the hips a little further here. Press in both feet. And if balance is a challenge here, I forgot to tell you, make sure you keep the toes down. Lift the arch, and if you need to, he'll toe the feet apart a little bit so you're not really on a tight rope. Apart, okay? All right, so big inhale, and then from then, lift those hips and then lift the shoulders and tuck the hips under. All right? Uh -oh. So I think we're done. I think we're done. So take a big inhale here, and then just exhale. Pull that chin forward, pull the hip, forward, pull the hip. Inhale, lift up, lift up. Exhale, ahead, chin forward, ahead, chin forward. Two more. And press up. All right. So we're going to rotate back around to the other side. And it doesn't matter left or right, whichever way you went. So keep the feet nice and apart. Okay. And we're going to lift the toes and press it down. Lift. We'll stretch in that heel. Inhale. Squeeze it up. Lift those toes as high as you can. Two more. Almost like you're practicing for mashing the gas pedal down. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I remember how to drive when this is over. All right, around, rotate around. So challenge your balance. Rotate around to the other side. Lift that toes up so you're up on the heel. Get a nice stretch. Heel. Exhale down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, squeeze it down. And three more. Last one. Take it as high as you can. Really feel that stretch the top of the foot and exhale it down. All right. Back around to the other side. I'm just done with me. All right. So this time, press into those toes and imagine the needle that will lift the heel and set it down. Lift the heel. Okay. And maybe you don't have to bend the knees. I do. Okay. Get the heel up off the ground. Two more. So inhale, you're lifting it up. Slowly exhale, setting it down. Very much engaged. A little bit of movement. You tend to feel as much or more than big movement. And setting it down. Walking or shuffling around to the other side. So get set up. Make sure you got your balance here. Once you got your balance, next inhale, whenever you're ready, and then lift that heel up. Exhale, set it down. Three 
three more. I can tell such a difference in one side and the, and the other because of the injury. All right, heel, toe it around, back to front, step in and shake it out. Do you guys feel the little movement, little tension muscles that you maybe you've not used or just warming up the joints a little bit? I, I kind of like sometimes going back to the basics doing this. All right, so now we're going to go back to hip, feet about hips width apart. Okay, we're going to stand up nice and tall and we're going to inhale, sweep the arms up. We're going to exhale. Remember how we talked about keeping those knees over, just drop the booty back, keep that nice flat back. And then this is our chair. Okay, but our chair, we're keeping the legs apart. We usually keep the legs together, knees together. But I, I'm showing from the side, but I want to make sure you've got a nice flat back. And you bring your knees back and then just get lower if you can. Just make sure you're not taking the knees up past the ankle. That's really hard on your joints, not good for you. And then the arms, you should lift to the point where, I mean, I can get my arms higher, notice if I arch my back. So get to the point, raise your arms, sweep your arms up to the point, your back does not, your, your back wants to move, but stop right there. And you can think, okay, I've got to arch my back, to get my arms a little higher, stop right there. That's, that's your point with your body. All right, one more big inhale. Maybe stretch the arms up a little higher. Maybe stretch the sides. And then exhale, forward fold, straighten the legs, drop it down. And then this time, you've got your feet, kind of your toes apart, curve the low back like that. Angry cat curve, stretch out the low back, drop the head, shake out the arm, shake them side to side. Shake the head, yes, shake it, no. All right, inhale, halfway lift. Pull that chin forward, shoulders back away from the ears. Exhale, forward fold. Drop the head and the arm. Next inhale, we're just going to sweep up. Try to keep the back nice and flat. Inhale, up. Exhale, we're going to dive forward. Arms out, drop it all the way down, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. One more, then moving with the breath, inhale, sweep up nice and wide, all the way up, exhale, forward fold, okay, and then inhale, halfway lift. So we're going to stay right here in the halfway lift, and of course it might be perfectly vertical, maybe up here a little bit, okay. Ground down, a little bend in the knees, ground the feet down, make sure you're nice and grounded here. And really try to lift the tailbone a little bit so it feels like you're sitting on the wall behind you and not with your back stuck under. So nice flat back here. Okay? So I want you guys to hands to heart center. And so bring your chin out. So if you're looking at yeah, the camera, hey, I see you guys. All right. So I'm looking here. All right, so I want you to bring the hands forward and then thumbs out, we're squeezing the hands out behind us. And almost like you're trying to touch your pinky. Notice how the shoulders open up and the chest open up. Keep that back nice and flat here. Okay, so this is the airplane upper body. Okay, a lot of times in airplane, people's airplanes dive right there. And you notice that my heart is higher than my hips. So even an airplane, this is okay, this is not okay. Keep the airplane flying high. All right, so we've got the arms here behind us, and I'm going to bring them back. So we've got that shoulder. So just open up the shoulders here, pull the pinky back with each other. And the only thing you're going to move here is going to be your arms bringing it up to our center. All right, little bend the knees here. Don't be cold. Okay, shift to your right leg. Okay, and if you can, come up on the left toes and stare at something. Okay, maybe maybe you're staring at the screen. Screen's fine, but we're going to pick the left leg up and point it behind you, keeping the hips 
even. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze that leg back. You don't have to lift it very high. I mean, you can have your toes on the floor. Lift the back, you lift the back, you'll feel these muscles starting to engage, starting to work. And again, lift and inhale, lengthen that spine. Exhale, ground that right foot down. And let it go. All right, big inhale. Lifting your spine, grounding down. Take a break here in a second. I know your back is probably going to kill you. Shift over to the left, lift the right. And it doesn't have to be very high. You can put it on the floor, inch off the floor. Or you can really lift and try to touch that back wall. Okay. All right. Inhale. Open up the chest here. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way to standing again. Lift your little back, your little back, and keep your hips forward, taking the other body back. Exhale, dive forward. Sweep out halfway. So when you get to that halfway, bring those arms back again. And start to lift the chest. We're putting back to that airplane. Okay, so bring the hands here. Chin forward, find your gaze. It can be a computer screen. Okay, so now we're going to shift to the right and take that left leg back again and maybe bring the arms back with it. Okay, so this is your air flight and really press through that standing leg. Lots of strength, lift that chest, open up that chest. Three more breaths here. You can do anything for three breaths. That's my motto. I need to cross stitch it on a pillow or a t shirt. And Release that down, come back to hands to heart center. Ground it down again. So ground that left foot back in this mat. Okay, inhale into the spine. And then take it back. Take the arms with it. This is length and length and three more breaths. And release. Inhale, release. Now, halfway lift. Exhale, tuck. Hold. And then make sure you heel to the feet apart. Curl your low back. And we're just going to touch the hips. Just tuck the monkey. Just come back and forth. Stretch out that low back. All right. Inhale, halfway lift. Get the feet close together again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way back up. And now we're going to exhale to chair again. Okay? Chair. Knees are bent. And again, we don't want to take them out past toes. So drop them. Drop the hips down. Think about keeping the knees as much out of the ankles as you can. They can go a little forward. Drop the hips down. Nice flat back. Hands to heart center. I'm going to take an inhale, lift in the spine, and then exhale. Hips and knees stay forward. And we're just going to twist to your right slowly. And think about starting to twist at the hip and then coming around the shoulders, turn around last. Okay, take a big inhale. Exhale, get a little lower. Three breaths here. You guys got this. Back to center as you inhale, lift it. Exhale to the left. Last one. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, bring them back. Start to lower the chest, lower the hips. Inhale up. And then exhale, forward fold, straighten the leg, drop the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all back up. Okay, now we're going to slow a little bit and exhale into our chair. And this time, let me get this side. I think you guys can see me okay over here. Okay, so we're in that chair. Shift to the right. We're going to pick the left foot up and we're going to set it back. We're just going to stay up on the toes. Okay, so just a lunge. In a lunge, don't go um, so far back.
fact that you get if it's nice and square. And try to check in with the front knee, make sure the front knee is over the ankle. It can be a little behind. You can go past that ankle at all. And then you definitely don't want it to go to the middle. Okay? So I don't want my knee over here. I want my knee directly over my ankle. Okay? The back leg can be bent, but if you can press into that heel and start to straighten that back knee, that's kind of a goal. But again, you may not be there today, and that's why it's a little bit of a stretch of that quadricep, too. Okay? So if you've got your hands here, heart center. If you want to reach up, and again, only reach as high as you can maintain that nice flat back. And even though you pull the hips forward, shoulders over the hips. Okay? Now we're going to open up. This is a press. It's similar to Warrior One, except that we've got the heel lifted. Now we're going to drop that back heel down. Press your, take your right hand and put it on that right knee. And hold it right in place. We're going to today hold it in place and we're going to open up the body, but that knee's not going to move. We're going to hold it right there in place. Next time we do it, you'll mentally hold it in place, but today we're going to physically hold it with the right hand, opening up the hips. And when I open up the hips, they don't go all the way to the side. Notice if I do, my, my knee wants to go that way. Keep the knee there, just turn the hips before they turn. And then we've already twisted the body a little bit, take the shoulders. So the shoulders can turn so that my arms go out and just reach straight over my knee and the left arm is reaching back straight over my left. Okay, so front to back, I look like that, okay? So hopefully, yeah, that's in a nice flat line. Okay, so this is your warrior two, relax those shoulders. Okay? So we're going to flip the front palm over just like we did a few minutes ago. We're going to inhale, reach up, peaceful warrior, getting that nice stretch in that front side body. And then back to warrior two. And then we're going to come down towards that elbow to that knee or hand on that knee and then take the left arm up on a diagonal, something called side angle. We'll take side angle and again make sure you're not pressing over that knee. You can still put the back foot further if you want. So side angle. All right, back to that warrior two. Warrior two is nice and flat. Then we're going to swing the bottom arm around, come back to where we're now. Hips are square to the front. Okay, bring the hands to heart center, press off of that back foot, bring it up to meet the front into our chair. Okay. Other side. So I'll just do it facing you guys. Keep an eye on y'all. So sitting right here, keeping the hips square. So just mentally have your hands on your hips, holding them nice and square. Shift to the left foot, bring the right one. And notice that I didn't bring it back behind the right foot. I brought it back behind where it was. Okay, so it steps back. As soon as you step back, you can stay up on your toes. You want to make sure that knee doesn't go out forward. If it does, then just step back a little further. Take it a little deeper. And again, inhale, lengthen your spine, lift that chest up. And the chest, when you lift it up and lengthen the spine, it should come over the hips. And then notice the back leg, you can be bent, but if you press into that heel, stretches that quadricep out a little bit more. Okay? And again, keep Keep those toes down. Lift the arch on that front foot. That helps with balance. Press the toes down. Lift the arch. That grounds that foot a little bit more. Mm -hmm. All right. Inhale. Lift the arms up as high as possible here. Keeping a nice flat back. Breath is still going nice and smooth. All right. One more inhale. When you reach it up, stretch that spine out. And then exhale. And we open up. Again, left hand this time, we're going to keep it, hold on to that knee, so the hips turn just a little bit open, so they're not facing the front, they shift around, shoulders can twist, or spine twist, so the shoulders face the wall, so that my left arm is now over my left knee, right arm over my back leg. All right. This is 
Ninja Warrior 2. Flip the front palm over. Whenever you're ready, next inhale, we'll stretch that front side body out. So we're reaching up, taking this up. And you don't want to just punch into the back, but you want to lengthen all of the spine. Also, right here, when we reach up, we tend to want to straighten that front leg. Try to stay lifting that front leg unless it's starting to hurt. Starting to hurt, definitely. You can take some relief here. One more inhale. And then as we exhale, we're going to come over left elbow to left knee. Take the right arm on that diagonal. Up. And typically, I didn't put on the other side, but palm is down. And I, I like to put my arm here not to rest on it, but to rest and open. See how I can open my chest more by pressing my forearm against the inside of my thigh. So I open up the chest nice and flat here. All right. And then come back up to that warrior two. And we're going to sweep the back arm around, facing up the front of our mat again. And hands to heart center. And come back up to here. Take a big inhale, sit a little bit lower. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Take those arms up by you. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up stand. Nice flat back. Exhale, into chair. Okay. Slow sequence. One more time. We can just go a little bit faster. And my mat. My mat walks. It's really bizarre. I don't know why my mat just wants to move all over the room. All right. So you're in that chair. All right. This time, set hands to heart center for balance. We're going to challenge our balance. We're going to push our arms up. Shift to that right foot. Take the left one back. As soon as you get there, take a big inhale up. And then exhale, open up to warrior two. Nice and grounded. Take a big inhale, opening up. The chest, and then you exhale. Lunge a little lower, flip the front palm over. Inhale, peaceful. One breath here. Exhale, side angle. And come back up to a warrior two. Sweep the bottom of that arm around. Come up on the left toe. And keep the arms up. Bring the left foot up to meet the right. Exhale, into the chair. Take that right knee up, set it back behind where it was. Okay, just one inhale. Once you've got your balance, inhale up, exhale, warrior two. Big inhale, open up the chest, exhale, lunge a little deeper. Put the front palm over, inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, side angle. Okay. Back to that warrior two. Inhale, arms up. And then bring it to the front. Exhale, as little as you can, last time. And then four pose. Right. Good job, guys. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead now and go down to the floor. Floor. Probably a little closer to you guys. started a little bit um, after 7.30 is a couple minutes before we got going. Any any problem with running just five minutes over? You guys okay with that? You don't have to be 
Okay, sweet. <laughs> All right. So, time to what's up? We're home. Yeah. We're home. <laughs> I know. Where are, you, where are you going? You got an appointment? Looks like I've got another Zoom meeting and it involves alcohol, so <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want to cut into your personal calories, but all right. So the one I like to do that I think is the biggest bang for the buck is boat. And if I tell you, okay, we're going to do a boat, you're like, oh my gosh, she's crazy. I can't do that. Um, there's different levels to boat, okay? So first thing is to get seated on your hip bones here, knees bent, and notice how if I'm sitting up nice and tall, Okay, when I bring my knees up to my chest, I naturally lean back. And it's okay to lean back. Leaning back is perfectly normal. It's almost like you're in a V here, but you just don't want to round. So I want to keep those shoulders back, keep the back nice and flat. So, and it helps if you think about lifting the chest, lowering the shoulders, and keeping the low back flat. So, the first step in bode is just this position here. And if you're leaning slightly back, your core is working. If anybody's not feeling their core, you're cheating, okay? So keep that spine. So if you really press in with your hip bones and lift the shoulder blades up, you're feeling this, okay? Next step, and you're holding back here. Next step is if you lift your feet up, okay? Pulling the knees in, lifting up the feet, okay? And then step three is if you let go with your hands, if you're not holding on here. And that one is the one that you tend to want to lose. So you're not pulling the spine up. This one you want around. So this is step three. So see you guys are already level three. Okay, level four would be to lift your legs. Okay, and again, you can do anything for three more breaths, right? One, two, lift up. Three. All right. Squeeze those knees in. Cross the left ankle over the right and just sit up nice and tall. Long spine. And then just exhale forward. And you don't have to go very far. Just exhale forward with a long flat back. Okay. Come back up. Sit back up. We'll get back up on the tailbone. And remember, one, two, I can lift my feet. Three, I can let them go. Four, if you want to lift them up as high as your hands, keep the spine lifted. For three, two, and one. This time, cross the other. Leg over, so if you cross left over right, cross right over front. Sit up nice and tall, and just pull the shoulders back, nice flat back, moving forward. All right, last one. Come back up. So it takes one, and hold back here. Two, you lift it up. Three, you let it go. Four. All right, and 50, 49. 48, <laughs> just kidding, three, you guys got this, two, and last one, one. All right, this time, flex the feet down together and kind of wobble side to side here. Soles of the feet together, try to bring them back in as close to the body as you can, so, and sit up nice and tall. Sit as tall as you can, nice flat back. And then when you start to lean forward, you may notice you only move forward like a quarter of an inch, half an inch. But you guys should be feeling this on the inside of your thighs. A little stretch on the inside of your thighs here. Real important to keep the hips and all the muscles and the legs and the back connected to the hips, nice and flexible. And sit back up. Walk the feet out a little further, kind of like a diamond. All right, sit up nice and tall on an inhale. And then as you exhale, start to go forward, but then round the low back. And the arms can even come out here. But round the low back and drop the head. So you'll feel a stretch in your low back. 
and maybe the outsides of your hips. And just relax the head, shake it out. Yes, yeah, shake it no. Okay, and press back up. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is that, that back bend that I talked about. And a lot of times I do bridge, but I'm going to teach fish today. And I like to keep my knees bent a little bit for fish. Uh, visually, you may get to the point where you can lower your legs, but just start off with your, and so I'm going to take my hands like that, and I want to keep them here in the flat of my back, my sacrum, and I bring my sacrum down, so I've got my elbows, okay? So I lift my chest, and just start to walk your elbows out, and but keep the chest, so this is a little back bend, just the back, dropping the head back. And the head doesn't even have to touch the ground, but just kind of really bend the back from the low vertebrae all the way to the shoulders. It opens up your shoulders. And again, if you want to walk the legs out flat, arch the back a little bit more. And just keep the chest here. Three more breaths here. Three more breaths here. Really lift that chest up if you can. Really lift that chest up if you can. Further. Further. All right. Slowly come up. Slowly chest. And then come up on the elbows. And then come up from here. Start to spread the front back into the back. Start to go back into the back. One third of the at a time. Until you get down to the mat flat. And then press your head into the mat, lift the shoulders up, and sweep those shoulder blades together. Notice how you push the blades together. Notice how you push the shoulder blades flat on the ground. Bring the ground. Okay. Up. The hips up and press the low back flat into the mat here. Okay. So last little hip stretch and a little spinal twist. Cross the right leg over the left, kind of like a figure four. And then just lift that left leg up. Relax the arms. Don't try to grab this leg and pull everything up. Just relax the arms. Let the weight of your legs. And if your left leg is pushing the right, you should be feeling this. So don't feel like you have to add any arm movement. Let the upper body relax here. Three more breaths, just allowing anywhere in your hips soften that you can, allowing it to soften. And the last one, if you do want to pull that top leg up a little closer, it kind of feels a little bit nicer to get just a little bit deeper stretch. All right, set the left foot back down on the ground, cross that right leg all the way over now. So you like, kind of like a secretary, cross the legs over. Open the arms up into a T, take a big long inhale, nice long spine, and rock the knees over to the left. You don't have to go all the way to the floor, just rock them over. Keep the right shoulder down on the ground, so turn the head, look over that right shoulder and see if it's still resting on the ground. Two more breaths, just allow yourself to soften and relax. And then engage the core, use the core and the leg muscles to come back to center. Uncross the legs, set the legs down and lift the hips up and roll down back flat against the mat again with the hips nice and square. Now we're gonna take the left leg, cross it over the right, at figure four. Whenever you're ready, just start to lift that right leg, pushing the left leg uh, by toward the, the body. Keep, make sure you don't point the toes, keep the heel flexed. It just makes it easier on the uh, tendons and everything that go to the knees. 
protects the knee joint. Three more breaths here. Maybe take the left leg, cuddle it in a little closer. Okay, and then set that right leg down, cross that left leg all the way over. Open up those arms, take a big, wide, open inhale. And then as you exhale, gently rock the legs over, the cross legs over to your right, gaze goes over your left shoulder. And it's not how far you can go, it's just getting a nice, gentle, twist in your spine, a little stretch in your hips. So as you inhale, think about lengthening, and as you exhale, can you soften and relax? And just those little thoughts in your brain may allow your body to move a little bit deeper into the pose. Okay, two more breaths here. And then gently, mindfully bring it back up to center. Uncross both legs, bring the knees into the chest, rock side to side. Okay, hug the knees, give yourself a great big hug here. Cross your ankles. And this is pretty amazing. Sh uh, Sharon does the best version of this, but rock up to seated. I think she could probably rock up to standing. <laughs> no. I can't stand up. What's that? I can't stand up from this position, but yeah. Yeah, it just amazed me that the, the power that you, you came up. I said, how do you get up? And you're like, Ooh. and I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, so we end our practice with Savasana, which is a resting pose, completely resting our body. And the, the breath is gentle. It's not that long inhale, exhale through the nose that's filling the lungs. It's, it's just your natural breath. But the goal is to find complete stillness of the body, stillness of the mind. So the only thought is going to be your breath. If you have to, one way to forget everything else is just counting your breath, count your breath. <laughs> That's how I kind of had to train myself. It took me years before I would actually do a savasana. And I, I, I think I did it with my hands clenched for a long time. Uh, but just learn to relax learn to find complete stillness and as you inhale you notice any tension and if you exhale can you soften and let that tension go so i'm going to go ahead and end the practice to allow you guys to take as long or as little as you want in savasana but it is important that you do seal your practice okay and i can cue you into that if you want me to um but i just kind of want to end end with um you know i guess you know a um Saying thank you, thank you for coming. Uh, great to see all of you guys. Nice.